it sounds okay. I'm gonna keep. Maybe it's even good. Do you think aquatic incursion? Uh, I don't know what aquatic, aquatic incursion does. Let's look it up. No, but it being, that being four mana, I think is just not where you wanna be. And again, I, I keep saying it, what I really like about this deck is you don't have to spend mana to play, to cast, to make tokens, you know? I really think that's a huge part of this deck is that we're not, we're not spending mana casting tokens and we could just play like a Just Guy control deck. Humans is probably a really bad matchup. Welcome, Spikelings, to the Shark Typhoon. Whiteside999, thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription. Hope you're having a good day. No, I was watching the Sieve stream this morning, and the Sieve had, uh, I can't even remember what the title was exactly, uh, but uh, the Sieve had a kind of a meme -y title that chat kept, like, chat was, like, going, you know, just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and I, uh, gonna learn from his, his mistake, I think. Yeah, the Newmans, yeah. Oh, sorry, not, not Newmans. I, I'm Newman uh, from the autocorrect. I can't remember what Nassif's title was. That was, that chat just nonstop kept asking, what is, what does this mean? When, whatever it was, it was just, you know, a joke, right? Didn't draw a Dwarven Mine. Uh, let's go ahead and main phase Omen looking for one. Do we have to keep Steam Vents though? Yeah, I think we can keep a Steam Vents, and then we can we can crater a land, and then we can cycle. We we have thirteen Dwarven Mines in the deck, effectively. We'll be fine. We'll draw it. If he's on your list, no Reflector Mage. Did you do well in a tournament recently that makes you think that's stock now? Right. You're also supposed to keep the second polymorph and bottom of the steam bins. Do I think Jace would work in this deck? <laughs> maybe, yeah. So maybe you should be playing it. Wait, they took the Teferi? I guess they just don't know how the creativity thing works, maybe. We have 13 Dorvid Mines in the deck. We have 9 fetches and 4 mines. I guess, sorry, only 12 because we've already fetched once, but... We have a good chance of just throwing an Emrakul at them. Alright. Um, I'm going to cycle Craters first. That way we can still make an Emrakul this turn. I'll leave up uh, this so we can kill a Phantasmal image. Okay, there's there's some there's some Dorvan Mines. So meddling mage naming uh, indomitable creativity would stink, but uh, we can we even get to Emrakul through Thalia next turn. Will I creativity of the board just to see what they flip? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I guess we're also dead to double kites or not dead. Well, double kite self rebooter gets us. Um, but Kite Self Rebooter plus Phantasmal Image we beat because we can Craters the uh, image token, the image dot Freebooter. So they kill my Teferi, I guess. Yeah. We know we're drawing a Dwarven Mine. We could maybe shuffle that away for if we think we don't want to draw that. But I think I think drawing it's good if they have kept a Thalia and they're going to violent Thalia. I think the card Dwarven Mine is just not on their radar, or they just haven't seen this deck before. Or maybe they just have Meddling Mage. Damn it, they have it. They just have the third Freebooter. Now an Emrakul might not even be good enough. I 
I guess if they attack with Hierarch, I'll double block. Maybe I was supposed to fetch first. Uh, I people have suggested uh, splashing white for myth realized in the Grixis Dragon deck. Sounds interesting. You know, maybe report back and tell me if myth realized is actually playable because I'm not sure that it is. Yeah, delay doesn't get around cavern. I actually don't mind mystical dispute against humans usually. Bring in the third, the second timely. Purge is okay too. Purge is better than Gust. I think I'll play Nahiri over any number of Gust. Just like three Nahiri. Should have scryed into turn. I guess, yeah. It's not like we had outs though, either way, right? Because they just get to block the Emrakul with the Mantis Rider. Let's keep this, let's put back Polymorph. Might play Dwarven Mine tapped on turn two, so we can play Teferi on turn three. Is the Madcap package better than here? Well, the Madcap package does mean that you were not gonna Emrakul at all. But maybe, like there's, it's certainly possible, nay likely, that there's something better than Nahiri. Lagging a bit here. For magic online. It would have trampled things to the enchantment. Yeah, Porn would still be alive though. And like, were they at 12? Thought that they were at like 15. If they were at 12, you're right, but you know, it's not like it matters very much. They were at 10, then you are right, Chatter. You are right, yeah. I go wait, let, let Magic Online load a bit. Uh, I, I still have two in the deck, right? Yeah. So we could maybe put an Ember Cool into play next turn, assuming no disruption, which is possible if they just replay this Mantis Rider. We'd have also have hit a Creativity and killed their Mantis Rider. That's true. It's true. Okay, they can, they can freeboot my Creativity. And Hierarch might to ferry down to dead. They took the Hiri, so maybe they have a Reflector Mage in their hand or just like an answer to this. Meddling Mage on Creativity, I'm assuming. Well, if this wasn't a mold of six, I guess they could still deal with this, but we had a Polymorph in our earlier hand. Okay, so we play Nahiri. Nahiri is just oh, it's not it's not dying because we actually get to we get to block with Dwarven Mine. That's right. Discard Emrakul. And now we can purge away Freebooter or Mantis Rider. Though the problem is this meddling mage. I don't think they definitely have a uh, Reflector Mage. We could also just draw Anger of the Gods and win. Their hand is uh, Mantis Rider, three unknowns. Hopefully they're all lands. If it's if they just play Mantis Rider here, they can't kill Nahiri. Mantis Rider plus Thalia's Lieutenant does kill Nahiri though. Why do I say anything? Um, I'm not gonna chump to save to fairy, I think. Anger of the Gods, come on. I might be just bottoming in a non-Anger of the Gods card. 
Hell yeah. Uh, does kill our dwarf token. I guess we actually attack, right? I shouldn't have played my lands. Uh, but if they block with the Mantis Rider, they, their board gets wiped. Of course, they never block there. Most of humans' decks are swaying away from Reflector Mage. I don't think that humans is, like, probably widely enough represented, uh, to make that claim. Maybe it is, but, like, humans just isn't that popular right now, and so... I kind of feel like I, I I don't know that I necessarily have seen enough humans to agree with that. All right, maybe we could draw a Dwarven Mine and put an Emrakul into play. I guess we're just gonna purge a Rider. Doesn't feel very good. Should we have kept the other fetch to get another Mine next turn? No, we needed to play it to cast the Anger of the Gods. Goodness. We're not technically dead, but we're not like super alive either. Oh, we are technically dead. We bottom a fetch with our omen that found anger. Well, off of omen of the sea. Well, the thing is, if we keep omen, of the, if we keep anger fetch land, we still have to fetch away the other the other card right i think it's i think it's a trap to just assume that there's none i think it's obosh the prey piercer you're just trying to help i got i got you i'm not i'm not like trying to fight with you and i i hope that's not how it's coming across i'm just telling you i just have a different you know mindset you know what i mean But I hope I wasn't coming out across as super argumentative. It was not my intent. Oh, this is not Mono Red Obosh. I'm gonna remand this. Oh, they have another land. Wait, what? Guess that was good remand bait. Jeez. It's kind of confused. <laughs> I guess they just didn't have anything to play off of the sprawl, so no reason to pay too life. Which of my builds do I find more consistent? I think Jeskai Flagfire is definitely more consistent than the Jeskai Lotus Field deck, but I also think that the Jeskai Lotus Field deck is the better of the two. And that I would I would definitely I, I prefer the Jeskai Lotus Field deck to the older one because I think that the power level that you get instead of uh, the other list more than sac more than makes up for the uh, the uh, drop in consistency. Why not bounce Utopia Sprawl? Uh, basically, for exactly this reason, if we bounce Utopia Sprawl here, and they can kill my Teferi and hold up removal spell, we lose. Uh, also, if our opponent plays Blood Moon. We want to be able to bounce the Blood Moon and Polymorph. If my opponent plays Bloodbraid Elf, also the Teferi Plus uh, is nice that the Teferi survives the Bloodbraid Elf hit and stops the Cascade. Uh, I think you, it's, I think it would be wrong to bounce the Blood Moon there. Or, sorry, bounce the Sprawl. Not that I articulated and I just kind of stared quietly at my computer monitor. Uh, but those are my thought process. That's my thought process. Um, so I do think I want the Nahiri's. Nahiri's seem pretty good in this matchup. Although, I also think I'll keep a couple of creativities in. It's nice that they're red for Blood Moon, of course. I also think Teferi is quite good in this matchup. I play the first Anger of the Gods. Nah, we play have four Bolts, which is honestly maybe too much. Delay seems okay, too. Maybe we could play just three. We could play three creativities. Seems okay. Do I think, I think the Lotus Field deck is competitive enough against the meta. There's also like a lot of different directions you can take the list. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm trying to take a couple of days off and keep thinking. Well, the problem with Mana Leak in the Lotus Field deck is it's really awkward on turns where you 
um, want to both hold up Mana Leak and play Lotus Field, which is why I'm playing Tails End instead in that slot. Do we ever use creativity offensively? I, I'm sure some amount of the time that happens. I wouldn't expect it to be very common. So if we want to be able to deal with Blood Moon, we need to draw a Counterspell. Because uh, Teferi is not going to be able to get down before Blood Moon does. And all, all of our lands are... We have no basic island or basic planes because of the Dwarven Mine mana base. If they just don't have Blood Moon, we're in, I think, great shape this game. Or at least good enough shape. Yeah, Iceman, that's kind of why I don't like to play the Mana Trader series for the stream, is how weird the meta is. Seal of Fire, aha! The Nihiri Cyborg tech. They have one card left in their hand. They also have Obosh, though. I guess Obosh is pretty bad against Teferi. But they, they have, their card is not Obosh. Or their... Oh. Interesting. They plus the Luka. They, don't, they did not find a creature. We're in danger, though. Well, I guess we're just kind of good against the Emrakul. What's up? Do you want any... Coffee, tea, um, it's breakfast. Maybe breakfast. What do we What do we got? Uh, bread, cheese, salami, salmon, cream cheese, the huge. Uh, maybe pass today. Pass. Okay, now what? What do you want? You want eggs? I'm okay. You just you know live your life. I'll be live okay. my yeah. life. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know how to live my life. <laughs> what about... Yeah, I guess with the Immerkle, we just have another Teferi. <coughs> Ugh. So they have what? They have, they have Arbor Elf, Obosh, and a Mystery card. Obosh is in the... Now in their hand. They play the Arbor Elf. Yeah, Emrakul Mirror. So next turn we can uh, minus on the Seal of Fire and then Creativity, assuming our Teferi is still alive. Their hand is Obosh and two mystery cards. They, they can put an Emrakul into play by minusing their Luka on Obosh. Which they probably have to do. And we can... we can Oh, we can't Creativity Emrakul. We can, do, we can Seferi it, though. They also can attack with Arbor Elf to deal two damage. And they also steal a Fire deals four right now. So they could kill the Hiri... They decide to not do that first. And now putting the Emrakul in their hand probably means the Luka does you know, basically nothing. We're one mana short of being able to haste and attack our Emrakul with the Craters. Which is kind of fine, right? I don't think they, they usually only play one in Recool because they have Season Pyromancer to discard it. Uh, but maybe, maybe they might have to, right? It's not impossible. I think they're realizing their mistake that they should have attacked first. Yeah, so I think that our turn is going to be... Minus on the Seal of Fire... And then we'll see if they kill my Teferi, which I'm hoping they do because I just have another one. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then we get to Teferi Bounce and Recall. We may, and assuming they don't have, I guess they can attack Teferi down. So another another removal spell does stop us from attacking them with Emrakul next turn. They found a Spyro. 
They got pretty unlucky on their Luka heads. It's the first creature in like 11, 10, or 9 cards that they've found. We could also we could also block uh Dwarven Mine on Arbor Elf here. To keep Teferi alive if we expect that they have a counter spell. Or sorry, a uh, a burn spell. It's kind of interesting. And then we have a few looks at a Dwarven Mine, and we have a lot of Dwarven Mines in the deck. We have a Draw Step and a Dahiri. Or at the very least and, and then we can omen into uh, mine if they attack. Um, it looks like they're not attacking, so never mind. We get to throw an Embercool at them. Uh, yeah, we still we just minus on the we just minus on the seal of fire again, which it's kind of weird that they don't see that that's our line. Although now that we've drawn a second Dwarven mine, we. Yeah, we just we just a creativity x equals two. Oh, I could have I could have actually create I should have re responded with creativity there. I forgot we had the Teferi plus. It's fine, not a big deal. Just missing out on having a token. Gonna wait on my Nihiri activation too. I don't think we need to attack Luka. I think I'm just gonna put them to two. Why two? So so if they seal a fire one of our tokens, so, so we get we get two we get two tokens, and X equals two means even if they seal a fire and kill a token, we still get an Emrakul in play. Um and that way we don't have to minus our Nihiri on their seal of fire to stop them from Stopping us. Yeah, this is a list I put together, Zamboni. It's very similar to a deck I played a long time ago, and it was kind of inspired by one of our chatters, uh, who's has a four-color version that's a bit different. It's playing Growth Spiral and Mass Hysteria instead of Footfall Craters. Keep this. Like, like if this hand was just all mass hysteria, you have to mulligan, but we can keep this, I think. Um, and probably put back the force of negation on the mulligan. Might just get a triumph on turn one. Technically, poly is a turn five combo since we have to attack with Emrakul. Um, I don't know if I agree with that necessarily, because. You know, you combo off on turn four, and then your combo puts an Emrakul into play. Put its mold to four. Now I regret putting back the. Uh... <laughs> now I regret putting back the um, force. Maybe, maybe we'll just cycle craters on turn one. Actually, no, I think I still want, I want to get a triumph pretty badly, and then we could just get triumph cycle two craters. Yeah, like it's it's kind of a matchup thing too. Like if if like the turn four Emrakul is is good enough, which it isn't always. Black Leaf Cliffs. Hmm. I think I will in play Craters here. Pass. Yeah, yeah. Craters cycling for one. I I really do. I really like this card in the deck. Oh, they're goblins. Okay, they, that's I guess explains the mold of four. Cool. We have the combo. Great, good draw because we still need to I guess find a dwarven mind, right? Gonna bounce the snoop. You know we're not attacking with this. Uh, we're not attacking with the Immercool though. Next turn. So if we find another piece of interaction for their combo. Might be what we need, because their hand is uh y yeah 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 let's uh let's let's bounce their snoop again because if we just draw a land we get to we get to immerkul them next turn there we go I 
So they, they probably go Snoop plus Expert and kill my Teferi, but that's fine. We still get to Immerkul them. Howdy, Shiny Duck. That's why you play two Is it Charm. That's fair. I, I But I also, like, I'm not a big fan of Is it Charm in general. Like, I, I mean... I, I, I like as a charm as a card. I think it's really cool, but I also don't... I would prefer to not have to play a card like it. You can also play, like, more, you know... You could play more Valak at Awakening. Do you want to buy the bottom there? Uh, yeah. Sounds really nice, actually. Full of vitamin C. Maybe I need to buy more fruit for us. <laughs> Do you like apples? Uh-huh. Yeah, I should buy more apples. And bananas. Do you want some oranges too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Really like oranges. Mm, okay. How does this deck compare to power level to typical through the breach? Um higher power level but easier to disrupt, I think. I also have the I also have the uh through the breach deck. Granted, we may play a league of that today. Why do you keep saying I'm grumpy? I'm not grumpy. Don't confuse my uh, lack of a personality for grumpiness. <laughs> Palmer and I will cure you. <laughs> Take oh, you think I'm grumpy too? No. <laughs> no, I am. It is lack of. Is it because I'm not kissing Esther? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'm oh, grumpy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Drop my headphone. Now I'm grumpy. <laughs> no, my headphone is either. You can't eat that. Okay. Um. Don't mind eight through gusts against goblins. I'm not really into the, like the delays, the remands. Maybe remands okay. Hmm. I feel like the Nahiri's aren't very good in this matchup. Remand's just so bad against Cavern and Vile. We can play Force against Blood Moon and Vile and Boil, maybe. Kind of into that. But, I mean, I think chat, again, is just confusing my lack of personality for uh, being grumpy. Which is fine. I understand. Gotta get it. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to hope to find the Steam Vents in the top couple cards and not play the Awakening. Uh, no, I don't think Nahiri is very good against them. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, just going Purge, Purge into Emrakul seems pretty good in this matchup, too. Exiling Pashik Mons feels good, but probably not that big a deal. Yeah, let me go to Fairy Plus this turn. Stop them from interacting with my combo. Yeah, the art on creativity is pretty good. I like it a lot. No, I mean, the Grinch has uh, lots of personality. You know, I've always kind of felt like with Grinch and Scrooge, they become, you know, they become good at the... Uh, spoilers. Spoilers for Grinch and Scrooge. Get out of here if you haven't... If you're not familiar with either uh, intellectual property. But, you know, both characters become nice at the end of the story, right? So maybe we could start... Stop using their names so synonymous with Christmas Jeer, you know? This is, oh no, something Alexander, a very complicated first name, Alexander, that starts with a D. What if they have Goblin Crater Maker? Ugh. I guess we play around it uh, by just letting Teferi take two. <laughs> you got your Bobat Tails in it? Hell yeah. Tails in is great. It was funny during the challenge, Canister kept coming in and uh, clowning on Tails End. 
He was really. I, I'm not familiar enough with Yu-Gi-Oh. I know. I know. I know. Canister cosplayed the villain from Yu-Gi-Oh uh, on Sunday, which was great. I wish I. I wish I could watch. Have watched more. I was. I was really looking forward to getting to play the PTQs and watch Canister stream yesterday, but my PC crapped out on me. It took me like five hours to fix it, so I didn't get to play either PTQ on Sunday. But I did get to watch like the end of the stream, and it's it's really cool that he got he made the finals too in the cosplay. I mean Kaiba, I don't know who I mean. Whoever Canister dressed up as. My my entire knowledge of I've seen the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh all the way through, and then whenever I watch Canister stream, I'll watch some of the some Yu-Gi-Oh with him. But that's all I know. This deck feels pretty powerful. We haven't cast delay yet, but delay is a pretty spicy tech. Keep this. Obviously, I'd like to have one less land, but have Omen to smooth things out, hopefully. Underground River. Hmm. Underground River. It's a good draw. Could be inverter. What do I think about tabletop modern? After the pandemic, do you think we'll ever play it again or modern will be played online? Uh, I believe that modern was maybe the most popular paper format before COVID and you know, the lights maybe at the end of the tunnel with this vaccine. So I, I, I can't imagine that, uh, I, I have a hard time imagining that modern would never be played in paper again because i believe it was the most popular before and i expect it will be after as well we've drawn really well here i think they're i think they're inverter like the like like these make sense to play with eldrazi of some kind right although i guess not with specifically inverter they could be playing thought not seer and eldrazi temple um i don't see any need to force this although i would force a thought seize Oh, that's true. Commander is, is more popular for sure, but at least for like GP formats and like tournaments, uh, Modern's the most popular. I mean, nobody owns decks, you mod, you know? Nobody owns uh, any deck, and so What's just because... What's up? It's me, your, your friend, friend Aspiring Spike. Spike. I don't own the Lotus Field deck. It's not my deck. You know, just like... Just like you don't own your child, you know, you birth them, you bring them into this world, and then you set them free. Adriki, two months in a row. Love to see that second month in a row, Adriki. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Now you can get pushed into Lily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think that there's, I don't think there's any way we don't cast Polymorph here. But of course they can have things. But uh, I, I think we definitely just morph in response. The mana base feels like the biggest reason to play that and the worst reason. How do I feel about after so many leagues? Am I missing something? Um, I mean, the, the deck definitely sacrifices consistency for power in the mana base. Um, I also think that you have to, like, mulligan uh, a lot of hands that you would not have to with a regular mana base. So think that. think about that. If you fetch instead, they have no outs. Uh, I guess you're right. Can I play Celestial Purge? Not really knowing exactly what they're doing. They have bla they have swamps in their deck. I think I'll just play like two creativity. Maybe three bolt, three creativity. Seems okay. Why not play Polly or in your turn when they were tapped out? Because we have Teferi the Time Raveler in play, so there's no reason to. Opens yourself up to like sorcery speed removal on uh, on Emrakul, and you can just end of turn Polymorph and uh, attack him. When you have Teferi in play, there is very rarely any reason to do anything on your main phase that you could do on their turn. The deck is feeling a little more tuned. I think we're, we're doing better with it now than we were doing this morning. 
What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spider. Dangerous, 25. Thank you for your four months in a row. Welcome back. Is an Emrakul protection from colored spells? What removal could they have? They could have Liliana of the Veil to Fairy Bounce. Yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah. I guess I'll draw, you know. Damnation. You know, they're definitely playing a weird deck of some kind. But there's also no reason to, like, play into it in that spot. Kind of like mulliganing this. No, I kind of want that first hand back now. I'll keep this. Uh, I don't think search for Escanta is good. Although, you know, you can always consider it. I'm going to leave up Dispute. I'm not really sure exactly what my opponent's doing. We saw Underground River, Thought Seize, Talisman of Dominance, Fatal Push. I think inverter of some kind, but I just don't know, dude. I just don't know. Might be cycling this triome. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah, probably should. I guess I wasn't supposed to cycle, but whatever. Yeah, I think Crater is pretty good in this list. Could just be blue black Drazi with Nullifier, maybe. Well, they they would have to play. They're, I would imagine they're playing Thought Not Seer too, because they have. Um, hmm. You just let this resolve. Imagine they're playing Thought Not Seer too, because they have a lot of colorless sources. What about a second Awakening? Uh, I think another Awakening is interesting. Do coax. Coax is a bit weird. They they do get inverter of truth here. It's cool. Coax is reveal an Eldrazi you control from your sideboard, which is very cool, or an exile. I wonder if this like it's a pretty cool card, although like very slow. I'll also say that uh What's that card? Uh, Grim Tutor is legal too. It's like basically the same thing. What kind of dog food is Athena on? I think we use Purina. Esther does most of the grocery shopping now, so I don't. It's been like months since I've actually bought dog food for her. Because Esther is the one doing all the buying. Yeah, the more I play the deck, the more Awakenings I play. I mean, Awakening is great. Um, the biggest problem in this list, though, is it's not a mountain for Dwarven Mind. So, like, you really are more, way more so playing it as a spell than as a land. No, come on. Uh, okay, well, we can cycle that. I'm going to get a Steam Vents mostly for Field of Ruin. Just, like, make sure I don't draw the other basic. Okay. Um, what about the Talisman, if this resolves? Out of curiosity, what's wrong with Grain Free? Are we talking about dog food? Is that the thing? Oh, we're talking about dog allergies. And that wasn't even in response to me. So they can't go Inverter plus Oracle here. But I also don't think, like, uh, you don't need that many ways to put back Emrakul. We also have Nahiri post-board, which puts it back. But I don't think it's that big a deal. Push my token. Sure. Well, let's, let's draw a counterspell. Nope. Let's make him show me the... Thassa's Oracle. Although maybe I should have conceded the Thoughtseize to not show them Nahiri. Hmm. So they are an inverter deck. These bolts seem pretty dead. So I guess we need to go a bit more in on the combo. Yeah. It, uh... Is too much protein bad? I, I'm not a dog nutritionist. Don't come to me for any advice about your life that's not related to Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah. 
I am not an authority figure on anything besides magic and I'm just very barely there. Very barely there. Uh, let's keep this. Seems pretty good. Or good enough, right? Have I tried bringing around Sprite Dragon and Sarkhan? It's kind of cool that you can Sarkhan. Are you talking about the three mana one? You can go Sarkhan into Sprite Dragon on turn three. Doesn't seem that good, but it's cute. Or Sarkhan and then Dragon and all your mana's untapped, but I don't know, probably just a bit too cute. But they take my omen. Am I gonna force a talisman? Probably not. Kinda wanna save like a force for their uh their permission when they go for Oracle. Definitely remanding a talisman. Yeah, I wanna I wanna find a land, so I'm pretty happy to remand this. Although now, now I will I will force Inquisition because if we can just untap and play Teferi, it's so good for us. The upside is definitely there to force. Tap land, bummer. Although maybe we can draw an untap land next turn and hold up Dispute. It had to be a fetch or a Steam Vents, I guess. Or a Sacred Foundry. Do they have anything to play off their Talisman? Thoughtseize. Well, they take this, I'm assuming, a uh, big draw step. We can minus on their Talisman if we draw on uh, any, any land besides exactly the other Triumph comes into play untapped here. Uh, I guess there's also Valakid Awakening, which isn't like exactly a land. Did not hit. We have Hardcast to speed up for an Inverter. And now, they like, do we take the Dispute or one of our two 4-drops? Then taking the Hiri makes me think that they have a Fatal Push-Up. So I don't think I jam right here. Although maybe if I draw an untap... Uh, if, if I draw another uh, Dwarven Mine, actually, we just get to Creativity X equals 2, which beats the Fatal Push. Or we could Creativity X equals 1 and hold up Dispute. But I think either way, we're supposed to wait here. Especially drawing Omen of the Sea can help smooth things out a bit. Can also draw to Fairy Time Raveler, try to resolve that. They have three cards. Unlikely that there's not a land in there, because I feel like they'd be playing lands out to play around Dispute. Um, yeah, I'll keep both of these. I don't really think this is going to resolve, but we can maybe fight over it. And then this is a, a door. This is a, a steam vents if we need to, to dispute something here, and it's a, uh, a door mine if we don't. Cool. I'll pick up my omen. Pass. I I prefer to not get blue here, so I'm, I'm not going to if I don't have to. But if they kill my Teferi, I'll, I'll just Omen again. But this is good against, like, Blood Chief's stairs to bounce the Omen. Why did I top the Dwarf token? I'd love to draw it. <laughs> love to draw it there. Our opponent gusted the, the token. 3-1. and one. We 3 2 the last league. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this. It's kind of close, but yeah, this hand's way better. Um, although, do we put back a land or do we put back the second creativity? We put back the second creativity in the blind. Pindlehaven. In fact, it did do well recently. This could also be Heliod. It is Heliod. See, we find a lightning bolt. Did not draw a bolt. Um, I think I'll get Trium with this and then get Teferi next turn. Teferi is a, a good draw. Uh, 
Found a Sprawl, they name White, and they cast a Heliod, which we are going to bounce. Then get our Teferi killed by... What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Conclave Mentor. Lelouch, two months in a row. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Love to see that second month. Just beware, Ballista is the arch enemy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it has to be in play, of course. So, like, maybe we just... Uh... No, we probably need to bounce the Heliod, because we... We lose to Ballista, but we don't lose to Spike Feeder. But bouncing bouncing the Heliod means we don't die to Ballista next turn, so I'm kind of down for that. And they also may not realize what's going on, so I'm not going to play the Dwarven Mine right now. Oh, I actually, I'll I'll chump block the Conclave Mentor with Dwarven Mine to play around Path to Exile. Seems good to me. Although they, they clearly don't have path anymore. Have they played a land this turn? They have not played a land. They're, 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 their two cards could be land plus path. I don't really see a lot of a reason to play around. Uh, or to not play around that. Okay, they have two Emrakuls in the deck, so that doesn't fizzle the combo to draw one here. So the sack six permanents. What's did, up? Did it's you me, get to gain life off second spike. inventory? B underscore three months. My only tier one subscriber. The sub baby is born. Do you know you can use Twitch Prime to subscribe to Aspiring Spike? Ah, I did. If I had known that, I would have been plugging it more. Thank you for reminding me. Or telling me for the first time. And the hype train has left the station. Awesome, awesome. Nahiri does seem pretty good against them, exiling Heliod. But maybe we still play... Uh... Kind of want to play like four Polymorphs. And I guess we'll just Welcome play four Creativity, no the shark Typhoon. And then, do I want Anger of the Gods? Not that much. Reavowed five months in a row. Appreciate you resubscribing. Joining the hype train. Yep. I do appreciate all you guys. The stream is completely brought to you by, by the subscribers. I cannot do it without you. Let's play the fourth delay. Fourth delay. The underscore in your name is not silent. I think I, I think I said it, right? That's what you get for tier threes. Actually correct pronunciations on your name. The only incentive. Can we play five polymorphs? Forty Nahiri. You brought me a sandwich anyways. Thank you, Esther. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Esther. Mm -hmm. I am so grumpy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Athena. I stepped on her paw. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Poor Athena. Let's play the Dwarven Mine on turn one. I just wanted food. She's okay. She's fine. She was just all close because Esther, there was food here. What's that white square behind me? It's, oh, you're talking about this? I, I, I am, I'm one play match short of completing the collection. I don't think we need to board Anger for Ballista because, you know, maybe Nahiri just gets to ignore it. We also have Bolts. Okay, I, don't, I don't think I'm delaying Sprawl. I want to delay a 3-drop. Okay. I'm almost supposed to cycle this in a turn. Mm. 
Well, if we draw a Dwarven Mine, we get to Emrakul or a Fetch Land. Can you talk about the X2 thing? Yes. So, if your opponent kills the creature you target with creativity... Ah, fair enough. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Uh, if your opponent kills the creature you target with uh, creativity, then um, the spell doesn't resolve. But if you target two creatures, they have to have two removal spells. Me and Lizard, four months in a row, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Blist X equals two. Hmm. Oh no, oh no. I was supposed to cycle. Oops. Whoa, 5,000 bits. I'm just a sucker for a hype train. Thank you so much. I'm a sucker for 5,000 bits, dude. Yeah, yeah, it has to be two different creatures. So two, yeah, exactly. I guess that's probably where the confusion happened. Okay, so... In order for them to kill Ballista or kill Nihiri, they have to use all the counters. So we can just minus here. And we can play another Nihiri or Teferi here. I kind of like Nihiri. B sent, thank you for the cheer. B underscore sent, B underscore sent. I can tell that you guys have been uh, eating your Hot Pockets. You have so many bits. Cool, good draw. Good draw. So O oh, one into four one.